हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मल्टीपल इनहेरिटेंस इन सी प्लस प्लस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट दिस इंफॉर्मेशन व्हिच इंक्लूड्स माय ऐप बुक्स एंड यूट्यूब चैनल नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द टॉपिक व्हिच इज मल्टीपल इनहेरिटेंस सो फर्स्ट सी दिस एग्जाम्पल इन विच टू बेस क्लासेज आर अवेलेबल फर्स्ट वन इज पर्सन एंड सेकेंड वन इज कंपनी and both the classes are being inherited in single derived class which is employee so if we inherit more than two uh, base classes in a single uh, derived class then this type of inheritance is known as multiple inheritance so first class is person whose definition is available here its attributes are name and age then read function in read function name and age uh, will be entered by the user then show function will display the entered values on console second class is company it also has two attributes name and employee id it has read function which will read name and employee from user employee id and second function is show which will display name and id on console so a person and company company both are independent base classes now third class is employee class which is inheriting first person and second company class means person and company both classes features are available inside employee class it has two attributes department and salary then in public function sorry public uh, section first function is defined which is read it is first calling read function of person class then it is calling read function of company class and then it is reading department and salary so you can see that whenever uh, employee class read function will be called through main function first it will call read function of person class after its execution it will call read function of company class and then department and salary of employee class will be read similarly show function is defined it will call show function of person class first then it will call show function of company class then department and salary will be displayed on console so you can see that uh, derived class is linked with base classes with the help of this scope resolution statement now in main function even object is created which is of employee class then even dot read function will call read function of employee class this read function so it will call person class read function then company class read function then department and salary will be read from console when even dot show function will be called so it will call this show function of employee class so it will first call show function of person then show of company and then department and salary will be displayed on console so friends uh, with the help of this example you will be able to understand uh, the concept of multiple inheritance for better understanding you can implement this example in your laptop or desktop so that you can uh, properly understand the concept of multiple inheritance thank you for watching this video